Good morning and welcome to another SpaceX update video, everyone. To kick off this episode, let's delve into the latest updates from Starbase. Following a brief destacking process, SpaceX restacked Starship S28 onto Booster 10 yesterday, in preparation for an intended full-stack wet dress rehearsal today. Judging by the progress so far, it appears that SpaceX will forego the speculated static fire test on the untested engines of S28. Once the wet dress rehearsal is completed, both Starship B-10 and S-28 will be poised for flight pending FAA approval. I have a strong sense of optimism about this upcoming flight. Achieving orbit on the third flight would mark a remarkable milestone for SpaceX in the early stages of Starship development, considering the rocket's complexity and size. Just a reminder, at full throttle, Starship can generate over 16 million pounds of thrust, more than twice the power of a Saturn V rocket. We might witness the launch as soon as all necessary paperwork is finalized. Did you know that at this moment, four SpaceX rockets stand vertically at all four of SpaceX's operational launch pads? Earlier today, the launch attempt for Intuitive Machine's IM-1 mission from Pad 39A was scrubbed due to teams detecting an abnormal methane temperature before loading onto the spacecraft. SpaceX will aim for another launch attempt tomorrow at 1.05 a.m. Eastern Time. However, prior to that, SpaceX is targeting two other launches, the United States Space Force's USS F-124 mission from SLC-40 and Starlink 714 from SLC-40 in California. If successful, SpaceX will set multiple records by launching three missions within just eight hours. Do you think SpaceX will manage to pull off all three launches? Whether conditions do not pose a concern for all three missions, I will be live streaming all three launches right here on this channel. So remember to subscribe and turn on all notifications to ensure you don't miss any future videos or live events. Thanks for watching this video and goodbye until the next one.